got the power. We got the power. Welcome back to the Na welcome back National Wrestling Alliance. Well, I've viewed this on YouTube on the YouTube channel. <clears throat> and I have to say, not bad of a show, not bad of a main event. They had brought it back like old timey but retrofied production. I like the name NWA Power. I like Jim Cornette. Joe Gaila was pretty uh, Goliath was pretty decent on commentary. I feel like fucking Jim Cornette was incredibly spastic and obviously not willing to get his ass hurt, but he looked like I'm about to shoot a motherfucker. <laughs> and whenever like James Storm, any of the wrestlers were intervening, they were getting near the commentary table. That looked like Jim Cornette was a good way defensive. These guys were always interactive, and that was incredibly entertaining. Joe Guyler was also playing double duty, sometimes being the interview while they also had another interviewer. There was two, like, multiple interviews in, in uh, like, after matches or before matches involving Nick Atlas. They were promoing the match guarantee to Tom, Tim Storm having one more championship opportunity against Nick Atlas for the NWA World's Heavyweight title. Ten pounds of gold, how they always want to say it so they can make it feel a little current. With also Eli Drake promoing his time and uh, using the fact that life is really good promo. I feel like Eli, Jack is, uh, Eli Drake is one of the most captivating talkers and obviously one of the most talented in the ring. And he had a good match with... Mm, who he wrestled against. And that's just the fact of life. Because he had a good match with uh, one little irrelevant jobber that lasted as long as it did. There was also the Dawsons. I was supposed to be a notable bruiser type tag team. And an irrelevant affair involving them facing off against Sal Renero and Billy Buck in a match that meant nothing. Except <clears throat> elbows, stopping aerial moves coming off Sal Renero, trying to push his team like the tough stuff tag team that beat the shit out of guys and ended up in a jobber win. The Dawsons get a victory and then had a promo bringing the fact that they are one of the toughest tag teams in the business. Yeah, one of the scary, and one of the most dominant bruiser tag teams, and I liked uh, Eli Drake's promo as well, and he had also a decent match the, against Case of Con. Oh yeah, Case Caleb Conley. It was a good match, good back and forth, good drop kick it in, and a uh, reversal for a spinning neck breaker. There was a. Pretty, not that much selling, but I like the way they were trying to keep, like, this Caleb Conley guy might be the, might be a good up-and-coming star, but they obviously wouldn't have pushed Eli Drake, and it came up with him getting the victory against Caleb Conley. Then there was a wild, the wild card that are the NWA Tag Team Champions after defeating PCO and Bruiser Brody for their NWA Tag Team Champions after, a championship after they beat him back, uh, they won the, Tag team belts back at the Crockett Cup. That was also associated in sh the tournament was shown on Ring of Honor TV as well as NWA. So yeah, and then they had a non-title defense match. <clears throat> against uh, Danny Danny White and Mims in another squash match. Uh, it wasn't that much. It was just a regular match going over chin locks, chin locks, using their finishing move, trying to talk shit, and they just look like the revival fucked the Ascension and the Forgotten Sons in a disgusting orgy, <clears throat> and their genetics just somehow didn't come out the same. <clears throat> and then... Heading over for their interview, bringing out how they're the greatest tag team in the business, blah de blah blah I'm only the most cliche crap, because it's still NWA, even though some of these guys are newer faces. Like, you know who Eli Jake is from 
Impact Wrestling, especially Nick Aldis, because he's former TNA World Champion. You got the Tim Storm, that's notable for around the Indies, and uh, Eddie Kingston. If you haven't seen him from his uh, little storyline he had with the LAX, with LAX involving Hernandez, her Homicide coming back, and then Homicide make it, getting a little uh, shown here on NWA TV. And then we got into a bit of trash talk, and then we went into, uh... Uh, the dude, uh, the dude's tossing out the table, and it looks like it was gonna get physical. There was also, like, an idle little promo for a wrestling school. Or something, something, oh, a wrestling college. Oh, yeah, Manthers Wrestling Equivalent. Uh, in uh, something, something called wrestling college. There was also some uh, <clears throat> James Storm getting called on. It's like he kept calling. Oh, it was Josephus. Josephus. Uh, I think he faced off against Tim Storm before, and he might have wanted a title shot, and he kept harassing around. Until uh, James Storm came out, and he's the national champion, so obviously they wanted to like put this into a back and forth. Then they went into having a, an impromptu match after these guys continued the fight. So it was like, okay, we'll blow off some steam, you guys have a match. And James Storm just ended it off after these guys kept going back and forth, taking it around the stage. These guys couldn't contain themselves. So it was like, okay, fuck it. They then we had to have a match next week. James Storm ended it in the last call super kick. I don't know who Josephus is. And he already shows to be an annoying shit talker who already got took in his place just off one la last all Cooper kick. Uh, last call super kick. Oh, God. How in the fuck? Oh, Jesus. That's awesome. So these guys kept chasing around. Jim Cordette is spazzing his shit because he knows he doesn't want to get run over by two men that obviously weigh over 220 pounds. It was lit. We also went into Nick Aldis going into a final promo before his title defense against Tim Storm in a pretty good match. It was a really good match. Going to the rest locks and we came into Tim, Tim Storm getting hit over to the ring post and later on to the match when Tim Storm started taking control. We went into a finger for a leg lock. We got into the rope break. Then Nick Aldis got hit with the ring post. Then uh, Claudia... And Claudia got uh, hit by got hit by a missed uh, clothesline coming from uh, Nick Aldis. Tim Storm come attempting from a low blow, then using his uh, perfect storm, it doesn't get the three count. Nick Aldis came around and got attempting a roll up after he got hit the low blow before, and Nick Aldis retains. Tim Storm doesn't get a title opportunity. And there was also promos before endorsing the match and shit. I'd rather care less because we know, like, Nick Aldis is obviously supposed to be pushing the neck top guy. And they're obviously not trying to make sure that they hot potato with a belt with a dude that literally looks like he can be my fucking professor in college. So, yeah. Decent match. Decent show. I liked the production commentary. It was well done. How uh, Jim Cornette was trying to sell most of these guys to try to see how dangerous they can be in the ring while they try to get young blood involved with new blood. Nick, uh, James Storm was fun. His promo was um, like, oh, because got wrestling boots. Think you're tough. Wrestle through your backyard, beat up your friends, try out your moves. Like, make sure he looks like a pure mark of burying them. I find the MWA also have a women's championship, so I'm shocked that she wasn't like endorsed for this show. And yeah, this, and uh, at least I got the crowd involved. The commentary was on point. The pro promos were we were good, except the last one involving why in the hell Claudia couldn't speak after she just got accidentally closed on off Nick Aldis, and off a tremendous moment like beating a former NWA World Champion like fucking Tim Storm. So shocking she couldn't get her two cents on that because I thought she was supposed to be a valet. Mind you, valets at least can put in their two cents and see like what they can do to at least endorse their world champion or at least their client and how in the hell they're even a reason for them to even have screen time. So something like that, 
Shock to my shock, uh, note that she stays quiet. Nick, all this is like the bitch is supposed to stay quiet. Don't try to get your fucking clickbaits here, you bitch. And he just left it on that one note. I feel like, uh, the show, the, the, the show was good. It incredibly was retro. It kept endorsing other stuff to make sure you're in. You want to be a wrestler. You know who these guys are. How these guys actually behave. How we, you know, the champions, the promo styles, the commentary. It was well introed. And uh, this is my first time actually watching a lot of NWA Entertainment. So, uh, yeah. Getting to a young viewer, I think this would be nice. If they have a lot more wrestlers. Make uh, <clears throat> something interesting for Nick Aldis. Because the last time I heard I heard of uh, Nick Aldis, he defended his title against uh, Big Marty Squirrel. Squirrel! 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 Shit! Oh my god, I cannot say words today. The show gets up... 6 out of 10. I'm going to give it like an intro plus. Thanks, this is like I think the first episode. So, yeah. What do you think of NWA Power? Did you feel like it was worth the wait? Because we know a lot of wrestling is coming out. Impact is going to be on TV, maybe before, uh, be, be on access before, after, maybe Bound for Glory. NWA Power is going to be airing on television shortly. And we, of course, have NXT. It's just a lot of options for you to be a fan of wrestling. So... As much as I talk negatives about WWE, know that I wish for the best for both for every show to do the top thing because obviously I'm a fan of wrestling and I want a lot of fans to share my interests. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, sh fuck, I didn't say that without feeling like a fucking mark. I mean, uh, to to like at least understand wrestling and see if it can be like at least mainstream as it was or popular as it was back in like at least 2000. So like that level of popularity at least. That could at least put a smile on my face. Thanks for watching the show. DS <laughs> the DST show. Hopefully you like the review and my take on the show. Subscribe, comment. Like the video if you found it interesting.